Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will look at how we can use the clipboard in Flutter. And this is pretty easy, we have therefore a plugin, which I like to introduce to you. So this is this clipboard here, and you simply go to pop.dev and type in clipboard, and then you go to the installing section, copy this clipboard and put it into your pop spec jungle file here under dependencies and here like I did this clipboard. So what we want to do now is to use this plugin and therefore we are going here to the main file and here inside we first of all write a column and inside of this column we want first of all to write this copy so we want to make the copy working and after it we want to make the paste working so I have here two lines and yeah I will first of all start with the copies so I create here this method and here basically what we want to have is a row and inside we have first of all this text field where we can type something and from this what we type there we can later copy something so I put here a controller inside and I need also to create this text editing controller here at our state level so here I go and write text editing controller and I create a new one and now I can copy this controller and put it here inside like I did and after this text field we want to show an icon so I show here an icon button so that we can also click on this icon and here inside we have first of all icon where I put this icons.copy and I take here this content copy and we also have here an on pressed where we want to use the plugin. So the plugin is pretty easy to use. So basically what we have here is a class which is called Flutter Clipboard and then here inside we have this copy method and now we can copy here any text from our application. So we copy this here into the clipboard. So what we want to copy in this case is the text of this text field, which we have put here inside. So I take the controller and here we have this property text. And this copy I evaded because I want to do after it another thing. So what I want to do is I want to show something in the UI, but maybe let's hot reload it and you will see quickly we run into some errors. So we get here first of all this arrow and this one says that it has something with a layout issue and what we need to do here is to wrap this text field into an expanded widget. And now you see we have here this text field and this copy. And before I want to try it out, I want to make it more beautiful. So first of all, I like to add here a little padding around because it doesn't look great right now. So I put here a padding in all directions, 32 maybe. And I also align it to the center. So I use the main axis alignment center. And now we have here this at the center. And so basically what you now can do is you can type here something and then press on this copy and then he copy this into the clipboard. Maybe we want to show also something like like a message saying okay you copied something into the clipboard and therefore I use here this scaffold of context. So we want to get off the context the show snack bar. So we want to show here at the bottom a snack bar which is saying okay you copied this to the clipboard. And here we have this uh, snack bar which we create and this gets a content and here inside we can place a widget so I put here text inside and inside of this text we write copy to clipboard and to make it a little bit more interesting I also put here this check symbol inside. So let's hot reload it and try this directly out and now you will also get an arrow so let's maybe clear the console and press here on this copy and you will see that he has problems with the scaffold and with the snack bar and this error occurs because the context is here from the state level but after it we have the scaffold and so he cannot really access the scaffold and what we need to do is to wrap this row here into new widget which is called builder and with this builder widget we can put here our context inside so basically we get here a new context which is after this scaffold and then it should work so let's hot reload it and I also clear the console and then you see okay if I press here we don't get any error we get here this copy to clipboard and this is exactly as expected 
And now we want to build the opposite side. So we want to paste something from the clipboard into our Flutter application. And therefore I create here this build paste and maybe I put here some space between. So I put here height of 16, for example. And now I build this paste here under. And here inside of this paste, we take again a row. So we want to show here simply a text field where we want to paste our value inside. And after it, we show here an icon button which has first of all an icon. And here we put this icon icons.paste inside. And on pressed, we want to call this plugin to paste the text from the clipboard into our text field. So basically I will create here a new field and I simply call it right now paste. So this is where we paste our text inside. So it's like a string variable here at the top. And I set it to empty so that we have in the beginning no text and let's put it here inside. And I will also extend the text. So I took, take here the expanded widget and yeah, I think we can now hot reload it. Then you see, okay, we have here this paste icon and if we press on it, we want to paste the clipboard to this text widget. And how we do this is we use again this Flutter clipboard class and here we have this method called paste and it's really simple. We can then await a value so here in front I write async and await and then we have here this value which we get from the clipboard and now we can simply uh, set this value to our to our paste string. So I put here paste to value and if we hot reload it right now then you see okay we can write here something and then put it into our clipboard. Now this text here is exactly in our clipboard and if I press here on paste then you see it is pasted here on the left side. So this is only for demonstrating you that it works and I can also take another text. It's again copied to the clipboard and then I paste it here again and you see that it also works. So you don't need these fields, but just for demonstration purposes, I just made you here this copy thing and also this paste icon. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.